Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I got my faves and fails for October 2023. I feel like October was such a short month, you know, doing this just one video a week thing. I think I only did three videos besides faves and fails and two of them were on the sales that were going on. One was on the uh, Amazon Prime Day sale and the other one was on the Sephora sale, which is still going on. So if you didn't check out my Sephora sale video and you're an insider, you can still shop with your 10, 15 or 20% off depending on what level you're at. Or if you're anybody, you can shop with 30% off on all the Sephora house brand makeup and skincare. And so many of their makeup items are favorites of mine. So anyway, that's a really great deal to get 30% off those because they're not expensive to start with. If you are shopping the Sephora sale and you want to see my top picks and recommendations, definitely check out my video right up here. All right, so in today's faves and fails, this is going to be things that I loved and didn't love so much in the month of October. I gotta say, I don't really have much skincare to talk about because I'm testing the Nira Pro and you know when I'm testing a device I can't change up my skincare I can't really try new things. I'm supposed to do a three month trial. I started in maybe June uh, but I wasn't using it every night. I was really inconsistent with it because I traveled so much over the summer. I just couldn't use it every night. So then beginning of August, I was like, oh gosh, I really have to knuckle down and start doing this every night so I can get this review up for you guys. So it's coming probably next week or the week after. All right, so let's get started today in just the random things. I've got a couple of randos here that I wanted to talk about first, just to mix it up. You know, I always do makeup, skincare, clothes, and then the randos at the end. But I thought, oh, let's give the random things the shining moment at the front of the video, right? And so the first one I wanna talk about is a hair scrunchie that you wear overnight that can either curl your hair or maintain your curls overnight. So you know how like you style your hair and then you sleep on it and the next morning, your curls are gone. And I would like it if they would stay in so I didn't have to reheat style my hair the next day. So I've seen a lot of these no heat styler things, you know, I mean, I guess you can do it with your bathrobe belt. I saw that a while ago. They've been going around. There's all kinds of different configurations of this thing. So I tried two of them and I'm going to show you how they each turned out with my hair so that you can decide if you do want to try one of these things, which one you would prefer. But the one that I prefer is this one. I can't remember what this is called. It's got a cute name, but it's basically like an overgrown scrunchie that has like filling in it. So it gives it some thickness and something to wrap your hair around. So the way that this one works is you pull your hair up into a high ponytail and you put this on it and you wrap your hair around this thing and then you secure it with this part of the scrunchie. You just take this and wrap it around and then your hair is in a organized top knot on top of your head and it doesn't have anything that's like annoying me while I'm trying to sleep and I usually do wear my hair up there anyway. It's very comfortable, it's very easy to use and I can put my hair up and then like wash my face, do my skincare and then just go to bed and then when I take it out in the morning, my hair is still curled like it was the day before and it really, really works and it really lasts. I washed my hair today and re-dried it and recurled it and everything so I didn't use this today, but I did use this the night before my Sephora video. So I can show you the footage from that so you can see how my hair came out. And it came out so good using this. You know, I didn't really have to do anything but just like, you know, run my fingers through it in the morning. And I felt like this gave my hair more volume because it does keep it up on your head. And then when you let it out, your hair just naturally has more volume. So I really like that one. And then I did get a second one just to try. This one is more like probably the result that you would get with a bathrobe. I think this one is called like robe curls or something. So it's three pieces. So basically you put this on top of your head. And in order for this to work, I had to um, use like a claw clip to hold this in place. So I clip this up here. So you just take your hair and you wrap it around. And then this one has wire in it. So it's kind of nice. You can take the wire and then you can like fold it up so that your hair stays. And then if you want, you can add the scrunchie at the bottom for extra hold and everything. So it doesn't come out during the night. You would do that with like half your hair. So you part your hair in the back, you bring half of it forward, you wrap it around. Once you've got it wrapped, you can make it into like a cute little headband. You just wrap it around itself back here. The problem with this one is that if you do that, if you make it into a cute little headband back there, you can't sleep on it because then it's got this big knot at the back of your head, right? So when I wore this overnight, I had to wear it with a clip on top of my head to hold it in place. And then I ended up bending these forward like, like little horns because you know how I sleep on my back. <laughs> it just looked kind of funny. I mean, it's a good thing nobody sees me. And then here's what my hair came out like 
using this one. And I feel like this one, it gives it kind of a, a tighter wave. So I think they were both good. I kind of liked the results from both of them, but I felt like this one was much more comfortable to wear during the night and I could put it in earlier and then do all my skincare and everything, where this one I had to put in last thing before I went to bed and I was kind of aware of it all night. So anyway, this one, definitely my favorite among the two. All right, random item number two is a product that was developed by my dad. So my dad's a chemist and he was in R and D at one of the major companies for a long time. So when dad retired, he and some of his associates from work decided to form a company because they were really interested in doing something good for the planet. So they created a product called EarthRx Bod Pods. What this is, is a single use body wash pod that you take in the shower with you. And when you take it in and it hits water, the pod dissolves and then you're just left with body wash. So you don't have to buy a giant plastic container of body wash that you're then throwing into the landfill every couple of months. A lot of those plastics do end up in the ocean. The packaging for it is completely biodegradable. Even the zipper is biodegradable and the inks are plant-based inks. And these are also GMO and soap free. They're preservative free, paraben, sulfate, dye, phthalate, petroleum, silicone, free, they have no added color, they're gluten and vegan friendly, and they're not tested on animals. And they're super hydrating, my skin's never dry. This is one of the things that I swear by over the fall and the winter, you know, when your skin gets so dry. When I switched to using Bod Pods when they came out a few years ago, I never look back. These keep my skin so hydrated in the winter time. They're really great. They come 36 to a pack and these are awesome, but they are having a little holiday promotion going on now that's exclusive just for me and my viewers. They're offering 36 Bod Pods, but instead of being in the normal package like this, they're coming in three little tins. There's 12 pods to a tin, so these can make great stocking stuffers or you can give them to your kids. If they're going off to college, they can take them with them and then they can just refill the tin as they need to. If you're a camper, they're great for that. And the tins are so perfect for travel. I love to take them with me when I travel. Anyway, I'm just so proud of them. I love the product so much. I use it every single day. I know that some of you are return customers. So for those of you that are, thank you so much for giving the product a try and supporting the small business. So I'll put the link for this in the info box below the video. And then the third random thing is a lint and pet hair remover. You guys, this thing is amazing. It's called the Chom Chom Roller. It works better than any of those like sticky pet hair removers. And the best thing about this is there's nothing to replace. This is just a one piece unit, comes self-contained. You just roll it over any fabric, whether it's clothing or furniture, and it sucks up the pet hair like you can't believe. And then when you're ready to empty it, you just press this little button and this compartment opens and there is all your yucky pet hair in there. And so you just dump it in the trash. This makes a great gift, a great stocking stuffer to anyone who has pets, whether it's cats or dogs or you know any more exotic pets it's a really great item so highly recommend that all right let's move on to makeup there's something that i forgot to mention in the sephora sale and that is the rare beauty eyelid primer i've been using this for a couple months now and i keep meaning to mention it in faves and fails and i keep forgetting to talk about it now it's gotten to the point where it's like some kind of a weird mental block <laughs> so i had been looking for a different eyelid primer wanted to give this one a try because it doesn't contain what is that ingredient that makes my eyelids itchy? Mm, bismuth oxychloride that is in a lot of eyelid primers. And this one, it's not in there. And I really like this as an eyelid primer. It's really sheer. It goes on really nicely. And the eyeshadows go on over it so nicely. It's not super grippy. So you can blend your eyeshadows a little bit better with this. It does hold it in place for the entire day, keeps it from settling in your creases, but it also gives you that blendability that you want so that your eye looks come out nice and blended and nice and subtle. Another makeup fave is a new launch from an influencer. Do you guys watch Allie Glines? I love her. She just seems like the sweetest, most genuine person. And the name of her company is Ravi Beauty, and it is a lipstick balm hybrid. They sent them over in PR. I've been wearing them for a week or two, and they're really, really nice. The shade I have on today is called Lip and this is going to be like the most neutral one and it's more like a tinted balm 
than a lipstick. So they're not super thick and super heavy on the lips. They're very lightweight. You can't even really like feel it on there. And they don't dry out your lips at all. They're so comfortable and so hydrating to wear. So let me just show you the three swatches on them. This is Lily, Dahlia, and Tulip. So this is the one that I have on today. It feels great on the lips. It looks great on the lips. It's not too shiny. It's not sticky. It doesn't travel up into my lip wrinkles. It's hydrating, not drying. I mean, it's a home run. Absolutely great product. I wish you a lot of luck with it, Allie, and thanks for sending it over. Okay, also in lippies, I had mentioned in, I think, the previous video this Maybelline Color Sensationals Lip Liner. The first one I bought is shade 110 Purely Nude. I went back and got another one. I liked it so much in 130 Dusty Rose. So it's just uh, a little less orange, a little more like a pinky mauve. I tried this along with the Anastasia lipsticks and I love these. I had shown you one of these in last month's Faves and Fails and I liked it so much I went out and I got two more. This one is Taupe Beige, this one is Tease, and this one is Hush Rose. I bought two of the satin, one is a matte. The matte one is a little bit drying by the end of the day, but it does leave a nice stain of color. The satin ones are great, they're not drying at all. I did a little Insta post where I tried some things this month, and actually something that I tried, I've actually reviewed it before. Apparently now that I've done like a thousand videos, <laughs> I'm losing track of what's what, what I've tried. Anyway, I tried this in a little Instagram post, and I really like this a lot. It's the It Cosmetics CC Plus nude glow and i was like wow this is actually really pretty nice like i showed it out in the sunshine it lasted all day it's much more wearable i think than the original cc cream because it's not as heavy it's not as pigmented and i felt like it looked much more natural on skin i'm actually wearing it again today because i really kind of like it and i wear it in the light medium shade but below that video someone said hey you reviewed that a while ago and you you really hated it <laughs> i was like did i so i had to go back and watch the review <laughs> because I can't remember. Anyway, in watching the review, I was like, ah, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it either. It looked good in photography. It was, you know, nice and sheer and buildable and it looked pretty and natural on the skin. So I liked all that about it. But there were some things on the con side that I didn't love. Like, I guess I struggled with it with my sunscreen and this has chemical sunscreen in it. And I had tried it with two mineral sunscreens. So that's probably why it didn't really sit right on top of those sunscreens. But when I tried it this week, of course, I wore the Haru Haru Wonder sunscreen, which I'm like, head over heels for now and it's a European slash Asian chemical sunscreen and so this played just a lot better with that one so I didn't struggle with it when I tried it this time and it did wear all day it wore on my nose really well all day and so I was just pretty happy with it I also tried the Tartlet tubing mascara and this was kind of a fail I really liked it all day long it went on really nicely it looked really good all day problem was at the end of the day it had left me like a little dribble over here by the corner of my eye. I have one eye that's always like a little dribbly and when I wear my Cali Ray tubing mascara I never end up with the little dribble at the corner of my eye with this but with this one I had it so not in love with this even though it was pretty and I know a lot of people do like it. I think that the Cali Ray is far superior because it stays put until I take it off. I do have a hair care fail this month. I don't know why, but it was the month for dry shampoos to come in PR. I must have gotten 10 different dry shampoos in PR. And so I've been working my way through trying them. But one that I tried that I did not like at all that I had such high hopes for was the one from Living Proof. It's called their Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. And this one says, actually cleans hair, eliminates oil, sweat, and odor. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this gonna work better than any other dry shampoo I've ever used? So I tried it and uh, it really didn't work better than any other dry shampoo. As a matter of fact, I liked it much less than most other dry shampoos I've tried. This one felt really wet going on, but it's almost like they just went overboard with the masking fragrance. Like it's just, the fragrance was just too, too much for me. I just want to spray it in my hand. Oh yeah, there's that smell. I didn't like how it made my hair look. I didn't like how it made my hair feel. And I really couldn't stand the smell of it. Like the smell is so strong and it was with me all day long. And I just, just, you know, just a product that I personally didn't love. The dry shampoo that I love the best is from Olaplex. It's their number four D I think it's called and it's in the Sephora sale. So if you needed a dry shampoo, I would get that one over this one. Oh shoot. Now I have this stuff on my hand and I can't get it off. Ah. Oh no, now it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> it 
It's everywhere. Oh my God, it's all over my pants. <gasps> what have I done? All right, let's do clothes and accessories next. When I did that Insta story with the It's CC Nude Glow, I was wearing this combination of necklaces and I got so many questions and so many requests for the links that I wanted to share these today. So this is three separate necklaces from my collection. I just like mixing and matching my necklaces. First one is this little star necklace and I got it from an Etsy shop. And so, you know, it's a great way to support small businesses is to buy things from Etsy shops. So it's just got these two little stars. Then the second one is this paperclip chain necklace. This is really pretty. I just love how these three go together. Like, you know, they're all kind of different shades of gold, but they work. And then the third one is my Zodiac pendant necklace. And I like it that it has a black face with just the little um, gold bumps on it. And then it has the Zodiac birthstone down there. Uh, Zodiac pendant necklaces, I think, make a great holiday gift, you know? So if you know somebody's birth sign, you can get them the Zodiac pendant necklace. None of these three are super expensive on their own. I just get these little magnetic clasps and that way I can get them on and off really quickly. And then the magnets all kind of magnet together in the back. And then the clothing that I wanted to share is first this top. I was just looking back at like top sellers for October. And it's so funny, like in the beginning of the month or end of September, when I first put up my fall lookbook, everybody was buying, you know, like the lighter weight stuff, very casual. But now that we're getting more towards the holidays, all of a sudden the dresses and the fancier tops and the faux leather pants are what is selling more of. And so I just I would feature some of that stuff now in case you're looking for something like that for the holidays. So I thought I would reshare this top. It's such a pretty holiday top. I love these cutouts and they're placed perfectly because they don't uh, show your bra straps. Like my bra strap is right here off stage left and uh, you can't see it and it's not super low cut. It also has some ribbing right here that makes it extra cute. It's kind of fitted. That's a really cute top, perfect for the holidays, perfect for date night or you know whatever you're doing this season. And I think this top would look fantastic with these faux leather pants. I featured these in my lookbook as well. And these are so nice. I really love it that they're a straight leg. You know, I put on some faux leathers that I had bought a couple of years ago and of course they were skinnies and <laughs> It felt so weird to be wearing skinny jeans now. Like, I know I still love my skinny jeans, but they're just like, they're so tight. And when you sit down, the lower leg kind of rides up. And then when you get up, you have to like pull it down. And I was like, wow, I haven't been aware of doing that lately. Love the color of these. These come in three different colors. The sizing on these is so inclusive. There's everything from like double zero to four XL. And then they come in petites, they come in regulars, and they come in talls. Then I wanted to reshow this dress. This has been selling like hotcakes over the last couple of weeks. It's a matte black knit jersey dress, but I love the top stitching detail on this. It is so flattering and so pretty, and it has a big zipper down the back. It's a fit and flare, so um, it'll look great on all different body types. And even though it's sleeveless, you can wear a jacket or a sweater over it, or you could wear like a fitted turtleneck under. This would be a great dress for work, or for brunch. I mean, just so many ways that you can wear this dress. And then the last thing is something that I personally have just been wearing a lot. You know, it's becoming more layering season. And so usually I'll put on like a long sleeve tee and then I need a little sweater to put over. And this little sweater has been perfect. I just love this little guy. It's a little cropped cable hoodie and it's just adorable. I just love this. It's so cozy and so comfy to put on. It's not itchy. It's got the little zipper. It's cropped, but it's not so cropped that, you know, your belly button's gonna be sticking out. It definitely covers the waistband of your jeans. You don't have to have on super high waist jeans with it. It's got the, like the little hood, but I've been wearing this a ton. I really love this little sweater. I just think it's such a cutie. All right, so I think that's everything that I had to share in this video. I just wanted to survey you guys and see how you're feeling about the holiday shopping. Are you done already? Are you starting already? Are you looking for videos earlier this year? You know, I love to do my holiday gift guides for you guys, but I want to get them up when you're actually shopping. So let me know you know how you're feeling about the timing on that I am going to try to do a few extra videos so that we can get in some you know skincare and like the Nira 
uh, review and other things in between the holiday shopping videos, but also let me know what you're you know, looking for as far as the holidays, what kind of gift ideas you're looking for. So if you have any comments about that, definitely leave them below the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.